Hey guys, it's Jeff here. Welcome back to Civilization 5. We're playing Venice. It's turn 346. And uh, I think we're doing fairly well. We've just produced these helicopter gunships, which I think look pretty cool. I definitely do like the way they look. So we're going to move these to the front line next to uh, Ethiopia, just so that they can uh, hopefully keep the peace over there and uh, keep Ethiopia at bay. Uh, let's have a look. A unit needs orders. Let's have a look and see which one. Okay, the one up there next to uh, Pasigade. Let's move this over to the border of <clears throat> Ethiopia. And it should be fine. should um, hopefully prevent uh, Ethiopia from going to war with us. Uh, before we go to the next turn, let's just have a look at our situation here. <clears throat> let's have a look at our spies. Philomena here is uh, here with no text to steal, so I definitely want to move him uh, somewhere else. Before I... Caesar is schmoozing as a diplomat. Um, Geosophat is providing counter in counterintelligence. And uh, we've got, so, we've got a spy smoozing in uh, Ethiopia and Morocco as well. So we want them to go to Poland, hopefully, and let's have a look and see how we can uh, improve our influence a little bit. So uh, Ethiopia has uh, the bonuses there from the propaganda from the diplomat. Uh, Morocco does. We need to trade with Morocco to get that extra bonus as well. Uh, Persia could do with a diplomat. Poland could do with a diplomat and Spain. Okay, Persia, Poland, and Spain. So let's see if we can send our spies over to there. Now, Philomena can't do anything in Poland at the moment. Can I have a look at this? Can I have a look and see what's going on here? Uh, Krakow is currently building a hotel. Okay, fantastic. Um, okay, let's move Philomena. I actually want to keep him there but change him to a diplomat, but I don't think I can actually just change his role. I think I do need to to move his city. So let's send him over to Persia. Uh, now, where is the Persian capital? Persepolis. Let's do that as a, a diplomat here. Okay, that's fine. So that should give us a little bit of a boost there. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to gain uh, some influence over these other civilizations and possibly get that uh, cultural victory uh, very soon. There are nine turns until the World Congress. Um, and we are putting in a vote for the International Games which also, hopefully if we win it, should give us um, extra influence as well. It should double our tourism um, tourism rate here, which is going to be pretty cool. Uh, let's turn this Great War Infantry into uh, infantry. Okay, let's just fortify these tanks over here. We're going to fortify the, uh, the helicopter gunships as well. It's currently uh, turn 347. We're getting 1,215 research, uh, which is pretty cool. Now, let's just have a quick look at what's going on here. Four turns uh, until we've researched lasers. Um, hopefully, we're going to get to the information age um, within the next eight turns so that we can get the United Nations up and running. Now, where do I want this helicopter gunship? Uh, shall I take it back up to Venice? I feel like if I go to war, it's going to be with um, either Ethiopia here or Persia down there. And I, I, it's, it's um, yeah, probably don't need it up the top, but I could be worried a little bit about Spain, but probably not. We'll send it up up here, closer to the capital anyway. Um, and just in case Spain do try something, um, at least we'll be prepared for that. The city of Lodz wants copper. Connecting that resource will cause the city to enter. We love the King Day. And we also have a notification here. Because you are the ally of Belgrade, they grant you the newly acquired oil. Fantastic. We've got 20 oil. We've got tons of oil. Um, iron as well as aluminium. So I guess I could trade um, some of these resources for some money.
Lord Darius has denounced us very well. Uh, it doesn't really bother me at all. And uh, Casimir has finished the Kremlin as well. Fantastic. Okay, so we are getting the uh, Norshwinstein right now. It just has Location been uh, has been completed, which is fantastic. Gives us extra gold, culture, and happiness. And um, I don't think we have castles in there actually. But it should still give us the extra extra gold there, and. Uh, and culture. Uh, we're getting 86 tourism per turn now. Uh, we will need to, uh, to choose production here. So let's have a look in, uh, in Venice and see what we can do here. We can uh, beef up our military a little bit. Let's go down and see what other uh, buildings we can we can build. Um, I feel like we're okay with our military the way it is at the moment. I feel like we're, we are fairly uh, fairly strong in that regard. So I'm just going to just hold off on, on building any more military units for now. We could build a Great Firewall. We're going to do that. We're going to build the Great Firewall um, because other civilizations have been uh, stealing quite a few technologies from us and uh, I definitely want to stop that. So the Great Firewall should uh, prevent those spies from being able to to infiltrate our city here and steal our technology. Um, okay, this helicopter gunship, I'm just going to leave it here. We're going to fortify it here. There you go. A Persian sp spy stole the secrets of refrigeration from Venice. Um, for some reason, these helicopter gunships... Um, yeah, it just, just freezes on me a little bit there. So sorry about that. Infantry, let's uh, fortify this infantry as well. Darius has made peace with Hail Selassie. Persia and Ethiopia were at war um, for a little while. It looks like nothing really happened there at the end of the day. Um, it would have been could have been bad news if Ethiopia did take some of the Persian cities, but luckily um, um, it mustn't have been a full-on attack there because, yeah, nothing really happened. We are losing grasp on Belgrade, um, so we better go in and fix that. Let's go and have a chat uh, with Belgrade here. Um, let's have a chat with Belgrade and see where we stand. Okay, 61 of 60. Yeah, we definitely need to give them a gift. Um, so let's give them a gift of, I guess we can give them a thousand gold for an extra 70 influence and just really um, just lock that into place there. We are getting 10 science from them, as well as horses, oil, and ivory, which is pretty cool. Um, fantastic, and I think they're giving us new units every now and again as well. Um, now, this worker over here in Lodz has just finished, and I don't really know what else to do with them. There were some... Uh, you know, some hexes here that needed to be repaired, but they've been completed. Um, there's nothing... Oh, here we go. We can build a mine up here or a trading post and see how that goes. We are getting 343 gold per turn now, which is pretty fantastic. It allows us to, to build uh, new buildings in, in pretty much all of our cities when they become available. Hal Celsi has uh, 14 wonders. We only have 8. Um... And uh, Poland has 11. Spain has absolutely none, which is a bit of a shame. They, they are definitely struggling quite a lot. Um, check out these musicians. A great musician has been born in the city of Venice. Fantastic. Um, I would love to send these guys on a concert tour, but I think we need open borders to be able to do that. So what I'm going to do instead is uh, we're just going to produce a great work and see what they, um, see what they produce. Ala Raka, great musician. Japtal. Okay, I've never never heard of that before. Uh, we're getting 90 influence per turn now, which is pretty cool. Uh, the 8th eighth eighth Venice Conference will convene in five turns. And a great person has been born. Beautiful. Um, let's...
let's continue on and see what happens in the next turn. We are getting our lasers next turn, which is going to be pretty cool. We'll be able to choose a uh, another technology to research. The night is far spent. The day okay, lasers have just been researched. We can get jet fighters and uh, modern armor as well. Welcome to the future. Whew, okay, we've just hit the information era which means we should get the United Nations let's have a look at this um, this is actually my first time playing through with uh, Brave New World and Gods and Kings um, so hopefully I'm doing okay and we'll be able to, uh, to take out this uh, this game fairly quickly I think from here uh, let's see have I just been given a new unit an anti-aircraft gun well that can just stay there uh, fortified right next to the city of Lodz. If uh, Warsaw ever do get some bombers, um, hopefully we'll have a little bit of protection there. We also get a new spy because we had just have just hit the uh, the next age. Um, Philomena is making introductions. Okay, we want to send Niccolo. No, not Niccolo. We want to send Francesco, uh, the new spy, over to Poland, I do believe. Uh, let's send this spy over to Poland. Here we go. And we're going to set him up as a diplomat over there. So that should be fine. We do get to choose our research as well. Let's have a quick look um, and see what's going to be good for us right now. So obviously we've just hit the information age. Um, which means the diplomatic victory is going to be open to us. So if we can get uh, enough votes, we can actually win um, by diplomacy, which be which would be absolutely fantastic. Um, what do we want to go for now? We can go for the atomic theory. Um, and we can find out where uranium is on the map. Hopefully there's going to be something within our civilization. Uh, we can start building atomic bombs and nuclear missiles as well. Um, penicillin. Uh, mobile SAMs is going to be pretty cool as well. Intercept enemy aircraft, fantastic rocket artillery, and the Apollo program for the beginning of the space race. I'm actually going to go for atomic theory. I want to find out where uh, this uranium is uh, on the map. Um, okay, what's going on with these spies? Francisco has been recruited. Uh, we killed a Moroccan spy, fantastic, and somebody stole dynamite. So we really do need to get this uh, this firewall up and running here, the Great Firewall. Hopefully we'll get that up and running very soon so that uh, these other spies will stop uh, stealing our technology. Uh, let's get a mine up here and hopefully improve our production a little bit. We do have a fairly large military as well. Here we go. The World Congress becomes the United Nations. Can we win this time around? I think we still have a few turns before... Uh, the, world country, the world has entered the atomic era either because half of the civilizations have reached it or one civilization has reached the era beyond it. Okay, so let's have a look at this. The United Nations will continue, continue to decide matters as before, but regular sessions will alternate with sessions attempting to choose a world leader, making diplomatic victory possible. This era, six delegates for host civilizations, four delegates for other civilizations, plus two delegates per city-state ally. World Leader Proposal on Alternating Sessions. Okay, so not this time, but the next time we will be able to choose uh, the World Leader, uh, which is pretty amazing. Uh, let's have a look at the World Congress here. We do get to choose a host. Okay. Um, we're going to choose ourselves as the host. And... We have a, a lot of delegates here as well, which is should be enough, I think, for us to uh, to remain the host. Let's 
So let's do that. Can we buy out a, another city state? Let's have a look. And yeah, there's one left. There's Kaisel. So let's go and have a chat with Kaisel. Um, they are allied with Morocco at the moment. We need 121 influence to surpass Morocco. Ah, uh, let's do that. We can do that. Um, let's give them 1,000. And let's give them another 1,000. It's a lot of money here. 2,000 bucks. Uh, but we are allied now. And we are getting 10 science, 26 culture. Uh, fantastic. Um, so we've, we've cleaned up the board here. We are allied with every other city-state. They should be giving us a lot of delegates. Uh, which is fantastic. Um, I don't know if that's going to be enough to actually win by a diplomatic victory. I guess we'll find out. Um, get over it, Ethiopia. They've declared war on us uh, two or three times already during this game, and I'm pretty much sick of Ethiopia down there. I would take them out if I could. A great scientist has been born in the city of Cahoica. Fantastic. Yeah, I would take them out if I could. They have a uh, very strong defense, though. They get uh, a lot of bonuses here. Uh, they've got uh, walls around their city as well. Um, and because of their ideology, they do get... Uh, sorry, because of their uh, religion, I think, they get extra, extra bonuses as well. Uh, with their units near the city, and their city has extra attack damage as well. So... It's, uh, it would be a, a difficult city to take. Uh, we have a scientist here, Zhu Chongzi. Um, how much do we get if we want to do this right now? 8,000. Uh, 372. I might just leave that for a, a few turns and see how we go there. Uh, but we can get another... Uh, we can build cultural centers here. We've got fine arts. Oh, that's pretty good. I do have 33 happiness. It's going to give us uh, quite a bit extra culture there as well. We can purchase great writers, artists, musicians with faith. That's pretty cool too. Um, I'm tempted to leave rationalism for now because we're not actually going to be going for the science victory. I'm going to go for uh, fine arts here. There we go. It's improved our... Um, culture here by quite a lot, 274 per turn, which is fantastic. Let's just pop him now, let's do it. Uh, we're going to get the Atomic Theory here and it should give us a, a, a boost to the next um, technology that re we uh, research as well. Uh, let's have a look and see where this uranium is. There it is, it's right there. Right by the city, so that's one of them. Uh, there's one over here where this uh, gunship is, just to the south of our main city. And we ha have one over here by Lodz. Okay, so we're going to have to uh, grab this uranium as well. Let's have a quick look at the technology tree. Nuclear fission here, atomic bomb. Uh, that'd be pretty interesting. A bazooka. And we have the nuclear plant for our extra production. Let's go nuclear nuclear fission. It just it has to be done. It has to be done. We could potentially bomb our Ethiopia if we wanted to take them out uh, fairly quickly. It would make taking over that city quite a lot easier, I think. Let's move on to our turn three five four. We have four turns until the World Congress. Two turns until we build the Great Firewall, and just three turns until we have a nuclear fission as well. Um, a cargo ship has returned. Now, I did want to trade route with uh, Poland, but I don't think I'm able to do that at the moment. Let's have a look and see. See if I can. No, I can't. I can't do that at all. Let's continue trading with Barcelona. We will be giving them some science, but at least it'll give us a bonus as far as influence goes. And when we do get more influential with them, uh, we should be able to get more science and science as well. Why is this falling now? How can this be falling? 
how can that be falling? We need to send a diplomat over there to Spain. Uh, we need one of our diplomats to go over to Spain and to, uh, to fix this situation because uh, we're actually falling at the moment. We are quite a long way away actually from uh, being influential with these other civilizations. Um, every, everyone else is uh, rising slowly. Uh, Spain we're falling, which is not good. Espero que este trato reciba su bendición. Um, pearls for gold, Eight. sure, let's do that. Let's keep that trade going. Spain stole refrigeration, okay. Can't steal from Poland. I didn't want to steal from Poland. I wanted a diplomat over there. Why did I not get that option to send a diplomat to, uh, to Poland? Um, okay, maybe we need to do um, some surveillance first and then I'll get that option. Um, I'm thinking that's how that works. Uh, cargo ship has returned. Uh, what was the previous route um, to Manila? Can we do better than that? It looks pretty good. 30 gold per turn. We need to get some workers out actually and um, getting them down to this uranium. So I'll wake these, uh, these workers up uh, next turn and they can start building a mine over there. So we've got the Great Firewall, fantastic. It should pretty much reduce enemy spies to pretty much nothing, which is fantastic. And a golden age has dawned for us, beautiful. Uh, so we get to choose some more production here. We can. Um, we can go for the Manhattan Project. Let's do that. Let's build the Manhattan Project. Let's wake up these workers as well. Uh, we'll send them down here. Uh, gold for cocoa, that's fine. Let's do that. Let's have this trade with Darius and um, keep things nice and nice and friendly. I am become death, the destroyer of worlds. Okay, so we've just finished nuclear fission. We will get to choose um, some more research here. We've got another cargo ship coming back. Um, now, I think from here we were sending food up to up to Venice. I think that was that's what was going on. Let's have a look and see if we can do that. Um, yeah, food up to Venice is what we're doing, just to keep that city nice and strong. We do have a lot of specialists in Venice. Um, that's why I was keeping the, uh, the population growing. We have a population of 37, which I think is pretty cool. Actually, all of our specialists have been have been filled. All of our all of our spots there have been uh, have been filled. So I probably don't need to worry too much anymore about the population. Um, I guess I can have a look at the citizen management. Um, yeah, I think we're good. I don't think we need any more. Maybe one more here. Maybe one more guy here to work this tile and get the extra research. Uh, is there anywhere else? I think that's good. I think that's yeah. That's pretty much pretty much it. We don't need a bigger city than this. Um, we can choose either penicillin or rocketry. Um, now rocketry will lead on to the information era here. Satellites, advanced ballistics, robotics as well. Um, let's have a look at ecology and what, what can we get here. Uh, solar plants for the extra production as well. Uh, the Sydney Opera House. Which could be good for us, I think. Let's go penicillin and uh, we'll go ecology and maybe we'll get the, the Sydney Opera House out for the extra social policy and plus 50% culture. Uh, so let's just lock that in there. Okay, the United Nations is in progress. Um, I don't want freedom. Um, I don't want that as uh, I don't want anything to do with that, but I do want the international games. Um, hopefully we'll get that, uh, that passed through there. Uh, let's commit delegates and see how we go. Um, this worker has 
finish the mine, so we'll send it down here um, working on this uranium. I will need that if I do want to uh, to hit any of these other civilizations with an atomic bomb, um, which is definitely on the cards. Okay, world ideology freedom fails. Fantastic, and the international games was passed, which is absolutely fantastic. So we've got the international games. Um, we have ten turns, ten, ten turns until the next world leader proposal. So we could possibly win this game in ten turns. Uh, Pearls with Darius have ended. Um, Silk to Darius has ended, so I suppose I should renew those as well. Uh, let's have a chat with Persia and uh, see if we can renew uh, these trades cool. here. Zal. Um, has he traded with someone else? No, here we go. Pearls. Uh, pearls and silk. Um, let's go six gold per turn. I think he was giving me th uh, three gold per luxury. Uh, so let's go six gold there. And that Tapsagi. should be fine. Fantastic. So, not that it, it's going to make that much difference, but every little bit helps. I need 31 delegates to win the next world leader proposal. So um, I'm missing five. How do I... How can I increase my delegates in 10 turns? How do I get five extra delegates in 10 turns? Um, how do I do this? How can I do this? ¿Y bien? Adelante. Eso es inaceptable. Continuar. Can we accept an embassy Desde here? Can we can we start to be, be friends here? Um, let's have a trade and see what we can do. Continuar. Research agreement. We can't do this. We need a declaration of friendship. Um, if I can maybe convince one of these other civilizations to vote for me, if that's even possible. Um, Let's have a chat with Morocco and see if I can do Dang that. It. Let's have a look. Uh, let's go to World Congress. Is it? Okay, World Congress. Venice. Um, what do you want for this? Not possible. Okay, that's understandable. Um, you never know. You never know. Uh, Warsaw. Um, let's see if we can exchange embassies here. Let's propose this. Uh, let's have a chat about the uh, the World Congress. Uh, can we do this? We need a spy as a diplomat. Okay, I definitely do want to have a spy as a diplomat in there. Um, I need to get some more spies, actually. Let's have a look and see what my spies are doing. What is Francesco doing here? What is he doing here? I want him to be a diplomat. Um, oh, goodness. Let's have a look and see where we do need this diplomat. Yeah, I need a diplomat in in Poland. Let's move Geosafat, actually. Uh, let's have a look here. We need one in... Uh, we've got Ethiopia, we've got uh, Morocco and Persia. So we need Spain and Poland. Let's move Geosafat. Um, he can go over to, to Spain. Let's have a look. Where is Spain? He can work as a diplomat over in Spain, and we need Francesco here in uh, in Poland, uh, working as a diplomat as well. Uh, Poland have quite a few cities actually. Um, there we go. So that should give us a boost um, to our tourism as well with those civilizations, and we can talk about the. Uh, the World Congress as well. I suppose once I become more influential with them, uh, we will be able to hopefully 
get them voting for us. Um, but we've only got 10 turns to do it. I don't want to wait uh, any longer. Let's actually go back here and um, establish this trade route. Let's just go with Ethiopia there. Yes, that's fine. 